our county, Collier County where I live, um, they weren't doing abortions in the county up until this year, 2008. And they were just going to start doing them, to, I think, the beginning of um, February. And January 22nd, Roe versus Wade, we had a big rally out front of Planned Parenthood, and I wasn't able to go, but my teenage daughters did, Melanie's younger sisters. And um, they were just praying, and a priest approached them and said, um, I wanted um, to, uh, they asked if they were Monica's daughters, and they said yes. And he said, um, just let your mom know I'm praying for Joshua. I'm getting all of her emails, and um, I'm not going to respond because I'm sure she's overwhelmed with all the emails she gets. And then they turned around, and he was gone. And they came home, and they said, Mom, Mom, we saw Father Solanus Casey. He told us that he's getting your emails, and he wanted me to let you know. And I was like, Father Solanus Casey passed away many years ago. Remember, he's the one that Papa was, you know, um, spreading the word and trying to help get his canonization. And they were like, well, no, we saw his name. I know we saw his name on his, um, he had priest clothes, and we saw his name. It said Father Slanus Casey, and they looked at each other, and I said, well, maybe it was Deacon Mike, because I know he's on my email list. And I also had the Father Slanus Casey Guild on my email list, but, you know, I explained to them that he had been passed away many years. And we, we just kind of thought, wow, you know, they you know, it must have been someone else, but they kept insisting. They both saw his name, and they saw him a little bit different, because I asked them, we went on the internet to try to look for pictures, and they saw him as a younger person. It was a younger priest, and um, I asked everybody I knew in the area, the um, Deacon Mike, who I thought maybe they were talking about, but no, he didn't approach them, and he wasn't there, and the head of the prayer organization, the pro-life group that was heading the prayer group, um, she didn't see a priest there, so that was how it ended.